I'm revisiting dotted tissue. Welcome back, friends. So I keep finding, I, I, I've been looking at a lot of my artwork lately because I'm preparing to collect everything for this exhibit in May. And I keep finding these little pieces of the collage that were done on this paper. And I'm like, oh, wow, why haven't I done more of that? So I no longer have any more of this paper, the, those collage papers left. So I need to make some more collage papers with this. And I'm gonna put, again, bright colors on it because that's what I like best. Let's get to it. Some of the colors that I wanna work with today are, you know, my go-tos pretty much. I want them to be colorful because with the black dots, um, we already have our contrast. So I just want lighter colors and brighter colors. And I might mix a little bit also with the nickel azo. And I've also picked out some stencils that I want to use. I kind of like the idea of circles on circles. I have no idea if I'm going to like it, but I think that that might be fun. So I've picked out mostly circle stencils and even these here that are circle divide. I like this one because it's misshapen circle. Uh, I think this is a smaller. Anyway, so I'm going to mix and match all of these and then I thought it might also be good to experiment with a more angular stencil over it. But I might have done this in the past, so I don't know. I'm going to hold this for last and see if we still feel we need it. So I'm going to start with this one because I think <laughs> I just love the idea of circles on circles. Uh, so I'm going to try to put three layers down on each one, and I'm not going to register them. I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, so let's see, what do I want to start with? And I might even overlay the same stencil, just in a different direction. So it does have a smooth side which is also where the printed area is. And this, this is obviously just store-bought gift wrap tissue. This is not wet strength or anything, so we have to be kind of delicate with it. It does collage well, even though you still have to be delicate with it. You don't want to be rubbing a catalyst wedge over the top of it, it might tear. So you have to be really delicate with it. Nice. Yeah, I like dot. It's like dots on dots. All right, I might as well pick up the ghost with another sheet. Let's see if we can get a good pickup. This edge over here might not pick up. Might be too dry. Well, we got something. So I'm going to save that sheet that I just picked up the ghost, and I'm going to just keep using that to pick up the ghost every single time, and we'll just put as many layers on it as we can. So on this, this is the nickel azo gold, the quinacridone nickel azo gold that has been discontinued. I still have some, and I'm just overlaying some circle masks. These are masks, not stencils. I know that I've been calling them stencils. Sorry about that. Anyway, so we're just going to put another layer down. I'm, I don't remember if this dotted tissue went transparent when, when doing collage. So I'm just going to try to cover all of the areas that are white. 
And we have some nice rich color. I love the combination of the nickel azo gold and the quinacridone red. It's a beautiful combination. Okay, so now we're going to try to pick that up with the previous sheet that we did, the other ghost. And this, this paper does not pick up the ghost as nice as the, let's say, the um, deli paper does. But we are picking up something. We're leaving just the outline on the plate, which is fine. We'll use that on the, on the next print. Okay, so now I'm using, this is the manganese blue. It's also a very transparent color. And as you see, we do have an outline of the masks. And we're going through our ellipsis stencil again. And look at how beautiful those colors look together. So and I'm, I think it's going to be good. And we're still seeing a lot of black. And a lot of where the blue hit the red, we've got this really deep purple. So, of course, now we want to pick this up. But I decided I let it dry too long. So I'm going to put some quinacridone red over it. And we're going to pick up over this. And that solid color should do something interesting. Let, let's just see what happens. It's very transparent. And I love it. I love how we, we still see the oval shapes, circle shapes. I even like where the paper was wrinkled. Just trying to pick up what it left on the plate. And so now, I think this again is uh, the Nickel Azo Gold, and I'm mixing it. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of py pyrol, pyrol, pyrol orange. It's my favorite orange that's right out of the tube. Um, usually when I'm painting, I don't paint right out of the tube, but obviously here on the plate, um, it's a lot easier to just squirt out of a tube than to try to mix colors in advance and then place them on the plate with a knife or something. It's um, just a lot easier, and we can do some mixing on the plate as well. So now I'm going to try to lay the orange right over that last sheet that I did with the solid quinacridone red. And it's going to be subtle, but it's, it's still there. Very, very subtle. But you know, that subtlety sometimes adds a lot of depth. So now I'm trying to think of what to add to that. So I decided to pick up my teal. I got a little bit of the quinacridone in the bright on the briar, so it kind of knocked back the brightness of the teal a little bit, which is probably a good thing. Hmm. Yeah, that is beautiful. So you could see teal is very opaque, so it even like blacked out the black dots so like you but you could still see it's like a, a hint of it in the background so now I'm going to overlay overlay that on top of this pickup sheet I, I've lost count of how many layers I have on this now but wow the depth of this piece of paper is amazing that is great collage paper So I left a lot on the plate, but we're just going to keep going. This again is the parole orange. I don't know. Somebody please tell me how to pronounce that. I think I pronounce it differently every single time. It 
so again, I think I still had some quinacridone on the brayer, and and it also uh, dulled down the orange a little bit, just slightly. And now I'm just going to start a new pickup sheet. So because these are fluid paints, they do dry really fast. So as you can see, if, if you don't work fast, it, it, it dries already. So, But I'm just going to keep going because it just, like I said, it's adding dimension to each of the, each of the layers. All right, I'm going to try something different. Decided to go with my angular masks. I think these are called the Vertex Vibes. Yeah, I like that a lot. So I'm trying to work as fast as possible so the paint won't dry. I got a pretty good pickup on that one. All right, so now we have to put another color on top. And I'm going to go back to the teal because it is, like I said, very solid and opaque and is a nice contrast to the more orangey colors that we have. Oh, and I love, I love what just happened here. Look at that. Always look at your brayer sheets because they sometimes get some interesting patterns going on. So I think the dots over the angular mask are going to be really nice. Yeah, fantastic. Beautiful color combination. Okay, so now we're going to put that down. Anyway, I decided I'm going to do an overall quinacridone to pick up. So I'm trying to get another sheet like the other one that has a lot of depth. And that is beautiful. Okay, so I'm starting with quinacridone red. And I'm intentionally letting the plate lace. And when you're doing this, don't forget to go into every single circle and, and try to get as much of that paint out of there as possible with your fingers. And so remember, if you're working with different paint, you might not want to work as fast as I am. Wow, that, is, that sheet is starting to look really beautiful. Okay, so then I decide that I'm going to use some of this. Um, I'll, I'll look it up. I can't remember what it's called, like yellowish green or something like that. It's uh, Amsterdam. This is going to give us a real pop of color. Beautiful. 
but we definitely need something else here. But And as you can see, it's very transparent. So I'm going to try to do something with the orange on that sheet. But look at this sheet. Look at how, look at the dimension there. It just keeps getting better. So I was just showing you how it's a lot thinner. The reason why I'm using it is because it's a lot thinner than those bigger circles that I had. I, did, I don't think it was working as well on al along with these small dots. So the angles really are a good complement to the ellipsis that we were doing and the small black dots. And I'm going to try to put that over this. I don't know. It might be so subtle you might not see it. But it seems that with each layer of paint, the paint is still a little bit sticky. The plate seems to be coming cleaner. So it is very subtle, but it's I can see it. Okay, so then I decided to pull out these stencils. I got these stencils on Amazon. Somebody um, asked me about them the other day, and I was kind of looking at them again. It's a pack of 36 different stencils, and I thought, why didn't I ever use this one? I only used it once. And then the circle one is going to be perfect with what we're doing with the circles and circles. So I decide that on this, I'm going to, on this print here, I'm going to use some quinacridone magenta. It's a slightly darker color than the quinacridone red. And I think it'll be a nice contrast over that other print with these two stencils. And since the stencils, I think they're an 8x8, eight eight, they don't fit the 8x10 plate, I always use them in pairs. And actually it makes a more interesting print that way, I think. Oh yeah, that was a, a good color choice. So now we have a ghost. We'll see what we can do with the ghost. I'm going to try to pick up on one of these. I hope I don't ruin it. Because <laughs> I do like both of those papers, but they're very similar. So I thought one of them I'll try to pick up this ghost. Now, there was a lot of white paper showing, so the white paper didn't pick up, but the paint did. So we have some interesting effects here where the, the paint grabbed the, uh, the paint that was on the plate, but not the white. Now, here's a recap in no particular order, although this was, I think, the first one. So um, we used um, Nicolazo Gold, Quinacridone Red, and manganese blue and although I like it it's a little bit too much um, I don't know I think the the red and the nickel azo are too similar in in uh, value and so that's why it doesn't appeal to me quite as much I don't know um, but that inspired me to start picking up. I think this bottom layer here is like one of that, that pickup. And then I just kept picking up and picking up. So we have many layers on here. I don't even know how many layers of ghosts that we just kept picking up. And this last one that's very contrasty over the subtle um, pickups underneath 
got, I just, it just makes this. I see this real depth here. I'm very happy with this one. So this was, I think, the last one that I just did. And, uh, yeah. It's a, a lot of fun. I, I, that, that green looks like it's way back there. It isn't. It's, I think, on the... Oh, I think it's on the third layer. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I forgot by now. But, um... And again, this is at least three layers, I think. At least three layers. And this one. The depth in this one also is very exciting. I think like certain areas really shine. So I am going to be very happy to use this in collage. This is also a lot of fun. And no, again, I'm going to mention, this was picking up the um, quinacridone magenta that was left on the plate. This is the ghost, got picked up on an original early print that was just two layers. And it picked up more where the paint was than it did in the background. And so that can actually be planned. Like, look at how this circle is incomplete because the the tissue paper did not pick it up because the paint, once the paint is dry, it's really hard to pick up. But if you can pick it up with another solid sheet like we did here, it will pick up. The paint will grab the paint. Keep that in mind. And this one I also love using the um, Vertex Vibe masks. I think it made an interesting contrast to the circles. And we have two shades of, of orange. Let's just call it orange. One of them is the Nicolazo Gold, mixed with a tiny bit of pyrrole orange. And the, and the next layer is all pyrrole orange, followed by teal. And it's the teal is a little knocked back because it got mixed a little with the either the orange or the quinacridone. So it changed the, the hue a little bit. It made it a little more interesting, I think. It's not quite as bright. And we have a lot of other brightness in the background. So I think it, did, it made a real harmonious uh, color composition. Okay, so... I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun for me. I had some unexpected things like these sheets. <laughs> these were supposed to just be, you know, just to get the paint off the plate. And they're my favorite. Um, you just never know what's going to happen here, you know. You just never know. And, uh, yeah, so these are, these are my favorites. And I was intentionally trying not to make two like this. Um, anyway, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to create, inspire, and share. And give this a try. Go get some gift wrap tissue. See you next time. Take care.